But you, O Lord, know my path. On the way where I shall walk, they have hidden a snare to entrap me. Look on my right and see, there is no one who takes my part. I have no means of escape, not one who cares for my soul. I cry to you, O Lord, I have said you are my refuge. All I have in the land of the living, listen then to my cry, for I am in the depths of distress. Rescue me from those who pursue me, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of this prison, and then I shall praise your name. Around me the just will assemble because of your goodness to me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Righteous and true are your ways, O King 
of the nations who would dare refuse you honor. Our glory do your name, O Lord. Since you alone are holy, all nations shall come and worship in your presence. Your mighty deeds are clearly seen. Yes, Lord God Almighty, your judgments are true and just. There shall be no more death or mourning. The old order has passed away. The Amen, the faithful and true witness, the source of God's creation, says this. Let him who thirst come forward, and him who wants it receive the gift of life-giving water. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. You alone are holy. And the 
courage he has sent the way empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and is to come, now and forever. Amen. Quedite primum regnum Dei, et justitia meus, et egonia adici en turco vis alleluia. Let us pray to Christ, the source of hope for all who know his name. Christ, our frail humanity, is prone to fall. Strengthen us through your help. Left to itself, our nature is inclined to sin. Let your love always restore it to grace. Lord, sin offends you, repentance pleases you. Do not punish us in your wrath, even when we have sinned. You forgave the penitent woman and placed the wandering sheep on your shoulders. Do not deprive us of your mercy. For St. Ignatius Parish, uh, for our province, for our oblates, friends, and benefactors, for those who have asked for our prayers, for those who are dying. By your death on the cross, you opened the gates of heaven and made into your kingdom all who hoped in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. O God, who surround us with your protection through the glorious confession of the martyrs, saints, Marcellus, and Peter, grant that we may profit by imitating them and be upheld by their prayer. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. Our brothers of June the 3rd. Memorial of St. Charles Luanga and his companions, martyrs. In 1886, seven years after the arrival of the first missionaries in Uganda, about 100 young Christians, Catholic and Anglican, were put to death for having chosen to remain faithful to their baptismal grace through chastity and prayer. 22 Catholics were canonized in 1964, and St. Charles Luanga has been proclaimed the heavenly patron of African youth. Elsewhere, they have been birthed of numerous other saints whose names are inscribed in the Book of Life. We fly to the patronage of the Holy Mother of God, and despise our petitions and our necessities, 
but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin Mary. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. And behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. And the word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Help me. Full of the grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among men, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray for forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we turn the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, was made known by the message of nature. May by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen.